Hey everybody, Cam here with Complexity Gaming, here to take you through episode two of our HQ series, Groundbreaking, where we're gonna take an in-depth look at the entire complexity base of operations here in Frisco. Everything from where our players live, to the star where they eat and where they work out, all the way to our HQ, new to the star where they train every single day. So first things first, we're gonna meet up with Shaz from our CS team um, and get things started there. Good, good. Cool. Cool. Welcome to my apartment. Nice place, brother. Thanks for having us, Shaz. Appreciate you letting us stop by. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about is just our approach and how it's a little bit differently. Having been someone who's lived in a team house before, just kind of wanted to get your perspective on, on how you like it here um, and what life's like. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really convenient having your own private space to go back to after practice. Because, you know, before this, I lived in the gaming house, actually with Hunter. You know, it had its good and its bad. I think overall, people, players having their own private space outside of, like, the practice area is beneficial. You know, not only that people are different levels of, like, cleanliness and stuff, <laughs> but sure. it's also the fact of, like, being productive. I noticed the gaming house, as time went on, people got more and more lazy about, like, you know, waking up, making breakfast, bringing it to the table, super casual about practice. But like when you wake up, get ready, and head to an office together, it's kind of like you're heading to work or you're like going to the library to study. You go with a purpose and you're way more productive and it's really obvious to me. So I think it's just a way better situation for the team and the players individually. I love that, I love that. So talk to me a little bit about your space specifically. I think each player takes a different approach, but maybe even we could start with some of these, these NASA pictures that are above us here. Yeah, I'm a huge science and space nerd. So the NASA friends are there for like, to make it a little more homey. You know, it, it is like my home. You know, we travel so long, like months on end sometimes to different tournaments and like coming back to here, it does feel like home now. Uh, the apartments are really nice and spacious. You know, I've got my own laundry stuff in my apartment, which is convenient. You know, we've got fiber internet, so it's like great for streaming and gaming. And I've got like the hookup for everything I need to just like live and perform. So I'm very happy with it. Do you still feel though that you guys are living separately? You still feel close enough to your, your teammates to, to do everything you need to do? Yeah, so that was like the fun thing about a gaming house was the social aspect. Cause you know, like living with four other dudes around the same age, I mean, it's fun. Like you hang out, your friends, but uh, it's almost the same here in the apartments because my teammates are literally down the hall. So if I want to hang out with them, want to go get food or something, I can just text them and it's essentially the same thing while still having that privacy, so. Awesome, well I think we've covered everything here, so I think what we'll do is we'll head over to Tostitos Plaza at the Star, um, and we'll check out kind of the, the whole ecosystem there before maybe grabbing a bite to eat and heading to the HQ. Sounds good, let's do it. Awesome. Checked out how you guys live every day, and what it, what life is like there. So we brought you to the star, to kind of show some some other elements of what our ecosystem has to offer. Not the smallest of which is the Ford Center here at the heart of the star, which also includes Tostitos Plaza here as well. When they do everything from UFC and boxing matches and high school football games for Friday Night Lights with Frisco ISD. Um, so it's definitely one of the bigger event space is certainly the biggest in Frisco and something that gives us a lot of opportunity to move forward with. Sounds pretty awesome, maybe even eSports events in the future. Yeah, I'm sure, we'll get a couple in soon. This place looks amazing and I'm starting to notice some pretty big similarities from this HQ and ours. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we were kind of directly inspired by this space. I think the good example is the press conference space there that Coach Garrett gives his press conferences from. And as people walk through the Star and the Cowboys HQ, they're able to kind of see front and center um, exactly what he's talking about, who is there, what press is there, and get to kind of live in that moment. And it's mm -hmm. very similar to their trophy cases being publicly accessible. I mean, I've never seen Super Bowl trophies that open to the public um, anywhere else in the world. Oh uh, yeah, we need to get some for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're coming. Um, and then back here, the, the last piece that I think is, is really important to mention is that they have their practice field. The heart of their training is right directly behind, so anybody who's walking through the HQ can see them practicing in real time. Again, that kind of level of transparency is what we wanted to build into the HQ. That's why we built the catwalk between the training centers, so that people are able to walk up and see you guys in action so they can be inspired. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. I'm sure to inspire like local kids to come see us play. 
Like that's something I didn't have when I was younger, you know? I right. had to watch everything online. Right. So it's really cool to see. Yeah, hopefully we're building the next generation of little shazzes um, at the HQ. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll skip out of this super corporate area and we'll head over um, down the walkway to the HQ. Now we're right here in the middle of the HQ in the player lounge. We've seen a lot of stuff today, but I uh, definitely wanted to get your thoughts. What'd you think? Yeah, some of the stuff I've seen, you know, for being on Complexing a little bit, but some of it's pretty new. You know, like some of the stuff that's been from the Dallas Cowboys HQ and translated into here. Uh, it's not even finished here, and I'm already like really excited about this player lounge and these facilities we have inside the HQ, and I'm excited. Yeah, no, I'm pretty hyped myself. So tell me, we've seen apartments today, we've seen the Cowboys headquarters, we've seen um, a little sneak preview of the HQ. Did you have a, a personal favorite from today that was your, your favorite spot? It has to be the HQ. You know, this is something I've been anticipating since I've joined the team. It's something that's been hyped up, and just seeing it come to life is like, man, I can't wait to get in here and just start playing. All right, Kim, tell me your favorite part about the star. Yeah, for me, it's not just one thing, really. It's the entire ecosystem we're building here. The idea that we have this whole infrastructure that puts everything you guys could possibly need at arm's length. So everything from the highest end training equipment, the best facility that money can buy, the direct access to all of the things you can need from the cafeteria to the gym, to all the way back to where we were this morning at the apartments. I mean, it's really everything that someone could possibly need. So for me, it's just kind of getting everything together to have you guys in here and start putting it all to use is what I'm most excited about, I think. I can't wait to just get in there and be part of that ecosystem. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, same. Appreciate you coming with me today, brother. Thank you for showing me around. Yeah, for sure. And uh, thank you guys for watching and make sure you check in next time when we talk about the public space and what you can expect when you show up here yourself. And hopefully we see you soon.